good smooches. Um, so, I'm going to be talking about ships or pairings first. Or, I'm going to do three different genres. I'm going to do Harry Potter pairings, The Hunger Games pairings, and Doctor Who pairings. Um, I know that this is a Harry Potter page and I probably shouldn't be doing Doctor Who and The Hunger Games. But I know that we do have some DW and THG fans out there. And since I like it, I think it would be fun to just talk about those as well. So, yeah. First, we're going to do Harry Potter. Potter. Yep. Um, I'm going to talk about my favorite pairings and some other popular ones I've heard about and my opinions on them. And, you know, just analyzing and stuff. Alright, um, first is a very popular one called Dreary. Yep, I don't ship it because, honestly, I think it's very kind of creepy. And because I ship Drapple and Dramine. I don't know why everyone ships Draco with people, but I think it's really great because he's my favorite character. So it's good to have a little variety um, and lots of choices for him. So Dreary, I think it's a, I don't know. Um, I guess some people ship it as a joke, not seriously, but for the people that do ship it seriously, I don't really understand why they think that Draco and Harry would be really compatible together and I guess that's why I don't ship it because I don't see the compatibility there and I don't really understand why they would be a good couple. Um, the next one is Drapple. Um, I love Draco and I love apples and putting them together is beautiful and I just I just I really, um, I really, I ship this. I ship it pretty hard. Um, I think that it, it's, it's a great <laughs> creative, very creative ship. And kudos to whoever created it, because they're really messed up. But, you know, in the wise words of Alice from Alice in Wonderland, yes, you are completely bonkers, but, uh, all the good people are, or something like that, something along those lines, um, saying that all the bonk people, all the crazy people are the good people, so here I am, and also the person who created Drapple, we're just pure magic, yeah, um, other one is Jermione, I do love Jermione, but not as much as Apple, I, Drapple, I used to ship Jermione really hard, but, you know, now it's just kind of, uh, but I still do ship it. I drove, I tried to write a fanfiction once, but I paced it way too fast, and then it ended up being like six chapters long and already coming to the climax, so I just quit it. And yeah, if you want to read it, it's never going to be finished, but if you want to read it, it's on Wattpad. Um, it's called Don't Blame Yourself for Anything, uh, Jermione Love Story, or something like that. Or you can just look up my account, which is Tom Felton is the answer, with each um, first letter of each word in that is capitalized. So capital T, O, M, capital F, Elton, capital I, S, capital T, H, E, and capital A, N, swer. Yeah. All right. Tom Felton is the answer. Because he is. He's beautiful. He's the answer to everything. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to canon pairings for Harry Potter. Ron and Hermione, I personally think that they're okay, but I do not ship them. Um, if you have any... I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to start a debate club about Harry Potter ships and what, you know, what, what you think about how it's written and things you'd like to change and things like that. I would personally love to do that, so if you guys are up for starting a debate club and would participate, then I'm all for it. You know, just um, comment if you want that, and of course I'll start it, because I would really love to do that. Um, anyways, um, another one is Tonks and Lupin. I love that ship so much, and you know, Lupin was one of the saddest deaths for me, because he was just this epic, brilliant, amazing, marvelous, fantastic person, and you know, B-A-M-F is brilliant, amazing, marvelous, fantastic, on a PG rating, which is where I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah, I just think they're perfect for each other, and I love the chemistry and compatibility. And I'm going to run out of time if I don't move on. So, 
Um, if you have any more suggestions for Harry Potter pairings that you want me to talk about, please comment. Um, if you have any arguments or explanations for other pairings or, you know, why you like to ship Hermione or why you think that Harry and Dumbledore are perfect for each other, I don't know, or create some crack pairings. Whatever, just comment some stuff about pairings and I will be sure to read them as soon as I can. Um, Alright, The Hunger Games is going to be very short. Um, I totally ship Finnick and Annie. They're beautiful together and I really appreciate how Suzanne wrote them and I just love that pairing. Yeah, anyway, um, I do not ship cat pee. Not going to be tricked into saying the other word. Um, and I kind of ship Gail with Forever Alone. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I don't ship Katniss with anyone. Wait, wait, I said that wrong. Okay, I meant I ship Katniss with Forever Alone. And Gail is perfect with Peta. That's right, it's a ship called Gita, or you may know it as P. Gale. I ship that as hard as I ship Drapple, man. I usually don't make um, gay pairings or ship them, because, I mean, I'm, I'm 12, so I guess that topic is really kind of awkward for me. I've never... I mean, I don't have anything against gays or anything. I just don't, I just don't understand the full relationship concept thing yet with boys and girls or boys and boys or girls and girls or pedophiles. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't understand all of that yet. I will soon. I'm doing health class next try. Anyway, um, yes, so Gita is fabulous. And I just, I love it. I just think it's hilarious and it's, it makes sense. I'm not going to go into depth on that because I don't really know how to explain a lot of things. I don't know how to explain anything really, which is why I shouldn't be standing here right now. I mean, sitting here right now talking to you about this. But yeah, um, Joanna, I kind of ship her with Forever Alone too, but she is like my favorite character in the entire series other than Gail. And she's just great. She's so brilliant, amazing, marvelous, and fantastic. And I really love her. She's the best. The best. The best of the best. Um, uh, Doctor Who pairings. I'm not really going to go a lot onto that because I've got about five minutes left and I have to go eat dinner. So, yeah. Um, I think that I really... Um, I, I do ship Ten and Rose, but I also ship Eleven and River slash Melody. Ooh, spoilers. <laughs> Did you get that? That was my River song. Okay, never mind. Um, I ship Amy and Rory. I love them so much. I love them together. And Amy and Rory are just perfect for each other. And I love Rory. And I love Amy. And I love everyone. And I also ship Martha and and Mickey. And I'm starting to cry right now. I don't know why. <laughs> I find it really hard to think about Ten because I miss him so much when he, I mean, I love Matt Smith, I do, he's a great doctor, but I miss David Tennant so much as the doctor, I can't even describe, I can't watch any David Tennant episodes now without bursting into tears, it's hard for me, it honestly is, because I miss him so much, and you know, the scene when he regenerated is just so emotional, and I have 30 seconds left, so I'm going to cut this short. And I'm going to also say that I ship Mickey and Martha, and I think they're really cute together. And Amy and Rory and Eleven and River and Ten and Rose. And uh, any comments or suggestions or anything down below. Bye!